everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel, The Cutting Board. Thank you for visiting with me today. So today we got this in the mail. Well, we got it from Amazon, not exactly in the mail. And I've actually used this um, makeup before. It's face and body paint, but it's grease-based. So I think it's really only mainly just good for the face. But we're going to unpack it and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This was very inexpensive for Amazon's Black Friday, and it came with a set of those brushes that I like. I think I still have several packages of this still unopened because I like these so much for this type of um, body and face paint. So we have two palettes. They're going to be different colors doesn't really tell you anything different about the colors, but I will tell you this one has gray, neutral brown, purple gray, rosewood, dark antique pink, ivory, livid khaki, pink brown, fresh pink, sienna, and rusty brown. And this, and this is the more colorful one. This is going to be gold, coral, turquoise, fuchsia, yellow, brown, silver, white, red, bright blue, leaf green, and black. So let's open these up. And I love the packaging. The boxes are just so nice. There it is. And it's wrapped also in a layer of, it's in the box and then it's wrapped in a layer of plastic. It's by CC Beauty, as the box says. Okay, so this is palette three and this is palette four. All right. <clears throat> so they both come with a little instruction manual, tiny, just one page. That's all you need. And the instructions, I'll just read them to you really quick in case you were interested in knowing. You just need to wipe your face clean with a moisture wipe or tissue. I would use, I would wash your face. This is how I would do it. Wash your face as usual. Use a moisture wipe and then blot your face dry and then wait for it to dry completely from the air. And you want to choose clean and suitable painting brush. You want these kind of brushes, really this kind. Um, you don't want to use any of your expensive makeup brushes. And you could use a large brush or sponge for great coverage. Uh, also, stippling sponges work great with these if you just want a stippled kind of look. In fact, I think the first time I bought this set, I got brushes and, and a little package of stippling sponges. Don't apply to broken or infected skin. It will burn. It doesn't say that, but I'm telling you it will burn. So I've got some wipes right here. So I'm gonna show you how vibrant these colors are. We're gonna start with these. And you wanna examine it to look, to make sure there's no like top moisture. And there isn't, I mean, it looks like there's some water droplets in there. So I just touch like the white and it's not, it's just, it's just the grease. Cause it is a grease paint, like I said before. Okay, so. We're going to start with the silver. I don't want to dip too much into it because, you know, and I am very messy with these, so. So there's just a little thin, then the gold. The metallic, and the gold isn't going to show up very good on my skin because of my yellow undertone. There's that. So you would just, you could layer it. You just gotta, if you plan on layering it, you have to use thin layers. Okay. Let me show you, oh, look at that white. I love it. And then this is the coral. Coral, right there. And this is the red I love this red. 
right there and this beautiful blue it didn't say on the packaging i don't think but i do not recommend using these directly uh, um, on the eyes and these are not vegan they're not vegan they do have oh, the carmine I, I and the reason i'm telling you it's not vegan is because i believe on the amazon one of the amazon sales pages it says it is vegan but it can't be vegan if it has carmine in it then here's that forest green oh there's that magenta i love that one and then this yellow right there and then black and then the brown so there's a swatch of this pan and you want to make sure that you put this on the right way so see it has little notches here it doesn't have notches on this side, so you want to make it where it has a little, little bumps here, so you can. There. Okay, and now we're gonna use, we're gonna do this one. And see, you can see what looks like water droplets. So you want to touch it, and it's greasy, so it's just grease. It's not moist. It's not like um, humidity. Okay. So I think I'm gonna do these colors on this arm. So this is kind of a light gray. Yeah. And these can be very opaque or very sheer. It depends on how you apply it. That's this lighter brown. And this is going to be the darker brown here. And then that um, it's almost like a coral bricky color. And then we've got this purpley right there. And this is similar to the coral on the other one, but not exactly. Let's see, if you see them together, this one's got more pink in it. While the other one, the one from the other palette has a little more orange in it. Now we've got that color right there. That would actually, I would wear that on my lip. Okay. And this is similar to this one. It's going to be lighter. I'd also wear that on my lip, too. And then this color. And then this is more of a deep red, whereas the red in here is more primary. This is more of a deep red. I'm going to put a little more on there. I love that. Okay. And then this. And the thing I, well, I like a lot of things about these, but one thing I like about them is you can take this color, the white and the browns to make flesh tones in a, ver in a, in a variety, that brown too, in a variety of shades. So, yeah, I find these to be really good palettes. I think both of these were like $20 together with the brushes. Not very expensive in terms of makeup. Uh, makeup Forever does a similar palette, uh, costs a lot more. And honestly, in my honest opinion, it does the same thing. It's just as good. And so why not save money? Buy this, practice until you are a pro, and then if you want to splurge on the more expensive stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because this is perfectly good to learn with and honestly, um, perfectly good to use professionally or if you want to uh, paint, 
kids' faces at parties and stuff. That's really great for that. I'm going to be using these probably to do my Freddy Krueger look and to do my Elf on the Shelf, which is coming up very soon. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to all of you later. Bye!